What's up guys, this is Typhoon and welcome back to another 2 years of Mario Maker episode. Today's creator we will be showcasing is Iris, and Iris, also known as Death to Spies, is a middle-aged American who revolutionized the field of puzzles where you put something in between a pair of sideways springs to allow you to fly. His ultimate goal in life is to create a level around every Schwarzenegger one-liner. His 2YMM level is called A Good Day to Dive. It's the power-up that was so obscenely overpowered that it never appeared again in a main series Mario game. It wasn't bad enough that it lets you fly over half the levels, so someone decided that it also needed to turn you into a flying POW. Put those cape skills to good use in a puzzle level that requires surgical applications of the dive bomb technique in order to save Yoshi and escape the ghost house. Come try the level that critics are calling easily one of the four best puzzles involving screen scrolling in the 2YMM project. Stay for the kind of forced Star Trek reference and pixel art. Alright guys, so this is a really complex puzzle level that uses the cape and cape tricks um, as the main theme. And a lot of the things that you see are tricks that you'll see, you'll see over and over in this level. So basically here we're getting flight speed by bouncing in between these sideways springs. And then doing a dive bomb to kill off a muncher to move on to the next area. So let's go ahead and go through the pipe. And as we're damage boosting here, I do want to point out that the first time I played this level, it took me a very long time to beat. So try not to get discouraged and just keep trying new things and hopefully you should eventually figure out these sections. So you'll see lots of uh, complex setups, including this one here, but there's not much we can do yet. So let's go ahead and go through this pipe. And then if you see the spike top here, uh, moving the stump on his back, that's a theme that you'll see used multiple times in this level as well. But anyways, with the cape, let's get some flying speed dive bomb over here. And then that kills off the muncher, allowing us to go up above here and go into this pipe. All right, awesome. And now we have another complex section. Let's drop down here, get some flight speed and dive bomb over here, killing off that muncher on the bottom. Now we have kind of a flying muncher set up here. So let's time it so that it's at the peak. When we dive bomb, that kills off the muncher that was here. Now we can jump up here, dive bomb to kill the muncher on the right side. I love how this all works together, it's really cool. And then dive bomb once again to kill off that muncher, allowing us to go through here. And then that giant spiny is going to activate a P-switch. And we can come over here, go into this pipe. So we're back to this section once again. While the spike top is to the right side and off the screen, we're going to do another dive bomb to kill off the munchers. <laughs> this is a lot to uh, fit into one level, but it's so complex and so cool. So now he boosts up this bill blaster, allowing us to go back through this pipe. And there we have it, we have the first checkpoint, so that's good at least. And now we can actually use the cape in this section here to do some cool things. So let's go ahead and do, I think it's three dive bombs to the left using this setup here. So there's one, two, and three. And then we're going to do one right here to the left. So now we have two munchers at ground level, and then we don't have any munchers on the left side. Now we can stand here and allow the spiny up above to travel along, getting us a key. Awesome. So let's go ahead and go through the pipe. All right, and then let's go through this key door. We're going to jump up above, go into this door. And then in this section, we're going to dive bomb left while the other spike top is out of the way. So basically this spike top is going to eventually walk back to the left side with the giant muncher on its back. And then he's going to kill off the bob -omb, clearing this path to go into this pipe. All right, we have another complex setup here and we have reset doors in case you mess it up. But basically this bob -omb, we want to eventually blow up these blocks that are underneath Mario right now so we can go into the bottom pipe. And then we have some complex setups on the right side with some spike tops as well. And then if we climb up top here, we see that we have 
uh, Spike Top, Giant Muncher, and a Bill Buster. So, first things first, we're going to get running speed. Dive Bomb to the left side first. That allows that guy to drop the Bill Blaster down. And then we're going to Dive Bomb to the right side in this pit. Now that guy starts running up above and eventually he'll get trapped in that cloud area. And now we don't want to Dive Bomb to the right anymore or else it'll kill off this Bob Bomb. So we want to keep the bomb alive and Dive Bomb to the left once again. So that allows the ghost to move with the Buzzy Beetle on his back, and then we'll turn when he's right about there. Do another dive bomb so that you land on that Buzzy Beetle. Such a cool setup, I love it. And then it drops that Bill Blaster down, blowing up the Bob Bomb, and then allowing us to go through this pipe. Lots of talking here. All right, and then we're gonna dive bomb when this muncher is right on that gap in between the bridges, if you can see it there. And then that will allow the Spike top to go over the bridge, over the muncher, and then onto the other bridge. And then with the cape, we can hit this big buzzy shell up here, kick it over, and now we have access to a shell mitt. So let's grab that, go back through this door, go through this door, and through this pipe. All right, awesome. So with the helmet, we can do um, some pretty cool things in this room now. So if we get running speed and bump into those so that when I land on the ground, they're actually up in the air and they don't get killed off. And then we can do a couple more regular dive bombs. So one and two. And then we're gonna do one more from over here. So now we have three munchers. We had two before, so now we have three munchers and then a gap right here. So if we stand over here on the right side, the spiny will travel all the way along. Hit the question block and give us a second key. So let's go through this pipe. Through the first key door that we already unlocked and then into the second key door. And then we get a checkpoint. Um, the timer on this level is not very forgiving. You have to beat this fast. So I'm just gonna go ahead and die real quick. <laughs> and then we will um, pick up from that checkpoint. So we get both of the keys right away, so I'm just going to use those right away um, so that we're not using them later and so that they're not traveling behind Mario the entire time. All right, so let's go back to that checkpoint area. We'll gather a helmet as well. Let's go through the pipe. All right, so this room that we're in right now, we can't really do anything in it yet, so let's go through this door. All right, we have another complex setup here. Basically, the goal is to get this uh, thwomp on the right killed so that the Bill Blaster moves down and then we can trigger the thwomp on the right side to activate the P-Switch. So, we have a bunch of munchers set up, uh, spike tops with stumps on their backs, all that good stuff. Um, first step is get some flight speed here. And <laughs> it's kind of tricky, but you have to dive bomb over on the right side. So let's see if I can get it. See if you if you <laughs> if you bump that ledge at all, you're pretty much screwed. Oh, but there we go. We finally got it. So then we have to dive bomb another time while this guy is traveling. All right. Awesome. So then if you do it just right or if it doesn't work right away, basically you want to make sure that the spike top that just dropped off the stump right here uh, gets moving, but once you get it, then you can dive bomb over here, kill off the thwomp. Hop all the way up here, activate the P-switch, gather this P-switch, go through the door. And then while the P-switch is active, just to make your life simple, just uh, gather that coin right here. And then we're going to set the P-switch right there. And then dive bomb right on top of it. That will activate the top spike top on the right side. He will drop off a stump that the second spike top will use. So now we can do a normal dive bomb to the right. And then he will travel all the way along the bottom and then start climbing the wall on the left. We will fly once again, killing off the muncher up to the left and clearing a path to give us some bob -ombs. So we have a long ways to travel with the bob -ombs, So gather 
Deactivate a bow bomb, go through the pipe, go through this door, go through this door, go through this pipe, and then be careful in this room, because we need to throw it right up there. All right, awesome work. <laughs> All right, so now we can get some flight speed. Do the same thing with that stack of munchers. And then do it one more time right here. Whoops. <laughs> get the speed we need, there we go. All right, another dive bomb. Then we're going to dive bomb once here. And then one more time right here. All right, so now we have all four munchers up above in a line. We can drop down another spiny so he goes all the way along. Hits the block and releases Yoshi. Now with Yoshi, we're going to gather one of these sideways springs. Go into the pipe. But before finishing the level, we're actually going to go through this door. All right, stand right here, drop it down. Hop off Yoshi, and we're going to get some running speed here. Fly all the way up here into a hidden pipe. And we have a little celebration room with Yoshi's. Awesome little celebration room here. We also have the 2YMM falling down with the feathers. The 2YMM birthday cake as well. Such an awesome celebration room. But anyways, let's gather one of the Yoshi's and then go back through the pipe. We will need to go gather another sideways spring quick. All right, awesome. Now that we have the sideways spring, we can go into this room once again, stand where the door is, crouch and spit it out, and then get that flight speed with Yoshi, drop down and finish the level. If you guys enjoyed this two years of Mario Maker episode, be sure to check out the others as well as more coming in the near future. But anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Feel free to leave a like and comment below. But until next time, I'm out.